What's going on guys, my name is Cynic and today we're going to be going over some possible tips to help you become a better zombies player. Now very quickly, this tips video isn't for you if you're an average player. This isn't going to help you go from average to advanced. This guide is more directed at people that don't exactly know what they're doing and are barely getting into the swing of things as far as zombies goes. So if anything, it's kind of like a beginner's guide if you will. Now, I know what you're saying, that's fucking weird. Why would you have this at the end of Infinite Warfare's zombie season? Well, because I've been getting asked and it seems like a lot of people seem to just have trouble with zombies it's almost like multiplayer has nothing left for them but they're trying to understand how to become a more independent player you know what i'm saying so today we're going to be going over some possible tips to help you become less dependent on other people and just strive and get the keys by yourself without relying on anybody else now i'll be a little honest i did have more trouble making this than i thought i was going to and that's simply because when you play so much of zombies you forget where you started from you forget how you have to learn how to train how you need to learn what weapons are good for points what weapons are good for killing how to turn on power where the perks are so on and so forth so i want to say a big special thank you to handsome reaper or authentic trauma who was so kind enough to help in putting these tips together now starting off on number five i'd recommend you play at your own pace feel free to use any type of fate and fortune cards that you want to play on a map that you feel comfortable and confident in and do not play solo right now it's all about building your own confidence so i'd recommend you play with other people maybe even hop into a public game see what they're doing learn what weapons are good for points learn what weapons are good for killing and just learn as much as you possibly can about each map at a time remember there's no rush it's all about building a solid foundation and confidence in yourself to be able to survive on your own if you're struggling on a particular map and you can't figure out how to turn on power how to turn on pack a punch where a specific perk is there's tons of videos on youtube to help you out there's no shame in looking up a single thing so after you figure out a little bit of the map you understand the type of player that you are you understand the perks and what weapons are good for points and what weapons are good for killing now what you want to do is get a better understanding of the movement and how to use it to your advantage or as it says down there learn your size and basically what I mean by that is there's a reach that every zombie has and every special type of zombie has a different type of reach obviously the ninja zombies have a homing in drop kick you have the brute that can shoot lasers at you from zombies in space land you have the big foots you have slashers so basically learn your size and learn their attacks and also learn how to use your movement to be able to avoid these attacks there's a little trick that you can actually do to avoid being hit by zombies and that's basically sliding right through them sometimes you will fuck up and the zombie will hit you but more often than not if you slide perfectly in the middle of your slide the zombies will not touch you now something i would normally do a lot of is i'll jump before i slide and i'll also jump again as soon as i'm out of that slide point of this is sometimes you don't have to be running in order for a slide to initiate and a jump can work just as well and the reason why i jump after the slide ends is because sometimes you'll be in those tight corners and if you jump that jump will just get you out of that zombie's reach so just keep practicing your sliding keep practicing your movement understand the zombie's reach and their attacks and you'll be perfectly fine now this tip kind of rolls into tip number three that's trains understanding how to train now tip number three four and five can all be done in a public game you don't have to be in solo quite yet remember this is all about playing at your own pace understanding how to become a better player and building your confidence but now that you understand the map that you're playing on just a little bit better you understand the movement inside of zombies you now know the zombies reach how to get out of sticky situations now is your time to learn how to train now there's a couple basics to knowing how to train first off knowing the best locations to train and inside of the location that you're deciding to train learn the zombie spawn locations because you never want to train and get stuck on a zombie that's just spawning in you also want to know of any way out in case you end up cornering yourself you always want to leave a spot where you can back up or a spot where you can slide directly through the train that you just created now again this guide is all about building confidence and understanding how trains work so I'd recommend training in the easiest map possible and that would be on Turtle Island inside a rave in the Redwoods if you want something a little more challenging then feel free to train on the beach inside attack the radioactive thing or even where the playground set is inside of attack but if you're still relatively new to training don't understand uh, rave is your best bet and then I'd recommend the beach second because it's so much bigger although you have to deal with the brute inside of the attack and the playground area although very nice it's more for advanced players since you have much less room to maneuver and zombie spawns are all over the place so this is more for advanced and much more confident players that are able to train a little better anyways heading back over to rave the key to a successful train is never killing a damn thing bunching up as many zombies as you possibly can behind you and always making sure that there's nothing behind you the last thing you want to do 
is have a shit ton of zombies in front of you turn around and then you get smacked by two to three zombies that you were completely unaware were even there and then you get cornered by the three zombies and then down by the train that you just created so just make sure there's nothing behind you try to get every single zombie that spawned in inside of your train because zombies do have a spawn limit after a certain amount of zombies that are spawned in no more spawn in so never kill anything until all the zombies are bunched up in one train once they're all bunched up in one train feel free to kill them all and then repeat the process all the zombies will start spawning in again just walk in a circle let them follow you don't panic don't get ahead of yourself just like i said be aware of what's behind you be aware of what's be around you and try to get all the zombies together as much as you can also if you're playing public which i recommend you do try to do all this in an area that's far away from anybody else the last thing you want to do is have some genius run through your train and ultimately get you down because the zombies are now following him and then at the split second they turn around and come back to you in your corner so just try to do this in an area that's secluded from anybody else if you feel confident enough then feel free to practice training in solo it's not going to do you any harm speaking of solo that leads us to our second point i recommend once you're confident in your training abilities understand the movement understand the map that you're playing on Try this bitch in solo. Also in solo, it's all about practice now. You roll without any type of FNF cards, it doesn't matter if they're fate or fortune based, do not use them, and you don't pick up up and atoms. It's all about practice now, it's all or nothing. This is how I learn, and I feel like that's the best way to learn, because if you have up and atoms, I personally feel like you have a crutch. You know, it's almost like at any point in time, you can go down and it's nothing. No, don't pick up up and atoms, it's all or nothing, you learn more of the map naturally and again it goes back to playing at your own pace you're playing solo so you're not being dragged around it's all up to you to learn and do everything you know and you may say well you have up and atoms well i'm in directors cut i earned mine you have to earn your stripes and i always quit game due to rage so technically mine isn't there but remember playing solo it's all about learning the map learning pack a punch learning power and just playing at your own pace and building confidence you know that's the ultimate goal here and this kind of ties in to the number one tip which is just practice practice makes perfect if you go down in the first five rounds in solo it's cool just tell someone else round 50 they won't know and it's not like anyone cares enough to check your stats but just practice makes perfect i mean i was probably one of the worst zombies player at a given time i learned throughout black ops 3 infinite warfare is a little bit of a different pace so i had to adjust slightly but still Practice makes perfect. I personally think you learn inside of solo the most and playing without up and atoms just makes you a player that is willing to take risks more often. So just practice. Once you feel confident enough in playing bare bones, feel free to add on fate and fortune cards and feel free to add up and atoms. But I personally recommend just going bare bones. Don't add any FNF cards. Don't pick up up and atoms and just give a first attempt every single time. That's what I used to do in my is it worth it videos and people used to always ask why don't you play it with up and atoms. It's fucking frustrating to go down, that's why. But anyways, hopefully these five tips helped you out. I felt like these were the five basic tips that I ultimately used to become a better player than slowly you start adding and experimenting in terms of training, in terms of getting around the map faster and doing things faster. But I felt like these were five essential tips. Hopefully these do help you guys out and they do increase your skills and become a zombies player and you start applying them and using them more and more. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Hopefully they do help you guys out. My name is Cynic, and until next time, guys, I'll see you all with a brand new video.